Hey everyone. So I made a career out of making food and travel content. And over the past two years, I haven't really made any food or travel content. And it's been a weird couple of years at that. Uh, and that's mostly because I feel very uncomfortable on camera. Uh, I feel very awkward doing this right now as well. My heart is completely pounding. Uh, and that's primarily because I get very easily dysregulated and anxious from online hostility and I'm very sensitive to violent communication. It really f***ed with me. And this spilled over into my relationship with food. I'm not hungry when I'm anxious. And because a lot of my career was based in food, uh, through that kind of association, I developed a weird relationship with food in which I would either be on a super restrictive diet or just not hungry at all. Uh, and the results of that were shocking for some of the people who saw me. <clears throat> now I've worked through that over the past few months uh, and I'm developing my appetite again. And with that, I'm starting to feel the urge to be creative arise in me again. And I think that in large part, uh, I could attribute that to my dog, Fudgy. So I've been spending most of my time just sitting outside in the parks of Lisbon with my dog, Fudgy, and reading when an idea hit me. Fudgy's now two years old and I never went swimming with him. I've seen him swim before, though, but it's mostly when he sees ducks and he just wants to say hello up close. <laughs> Fudgy, come here, please. <laughs> you filthy dog. Fudgy! Fudgy! <laughs> you'll never, you'll never get it. But we've never gone on a swim together, and I really want to experience that. Even though Portugal has many epic beaches, some only 20 minutes away from my home, Fudgy doesn't really seem to want to get into the ocean water. So I looked for some lakes we can enjoy together and found Lake Annecy, which has gorgeous clear waters and perfect temperature for swimming in the summer and mountains tightly wrapped all around it. Though it's, it's, it's only 2,000 kilometers away, all the way in France. So I spent a couple of weeks planning, rented a car, and then set off for undoubtedly the experience of a lifetime. And really, I felt inspired to make something out of this. So. I filmed a bunch and felt flashes of joy and being creative again, and while this is still kind of terrifying, I finally made something. And so I want to share this video with you today. Here's my trip through southern France. We'd first stop through Burgos, Spain, which has a really gorgeous old cathedral and very vibrant pink sunsets. Then I'd drive up to Bordeaux, France and spend one night there where I could drink my fill of Bordeaux wine while only having a taste of the city. And then making one last stop in a small town north of Lyon and on my fourth day of driving, I'd finally get to the town of Teloir, right on the waters of Lake Annecy. Oh my god! Oh fuck! Wow, wow. This might be the prettiest place I've ever been. In Teloir, I found a very picturesque hotel right on the water where Fudgy could hang out with me on the decks and then I could live up my dream of finally swimming with my doggy. Problem is, I wasn't sure if Fudgy had the same dream. Get in the water. <laughs> this is not working out as planned. All right. Well, that was a huge failure. So if you go in this way, 
Oh, look at this big shit stick. Who loves sticks? Look at this shit. Oh, yeah. Who wants a stick? Come on. Jump in, boy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Don't be afraid. Yeah, Bubble, come here. Jump, boy. Jump. Yeah, yeah. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Oh, yes. Who is this? Who is this jungle? Good jungle. Good Yeah, I got stick. Yeah, what you have a stick. Oh, yeah. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, you are. Who's my... Who's my good dog home? Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Oh yes, my good boy. boy. You're so fast. Yes, my boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay, boy. I got you. Good boy. Good swimmer. Yes, my good oh. Thank you. Come on. Jump a doodle. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. Good boy! Good boy! Yeah, good boy! Jump in! Yeah, yeah! You got it! Good boy! Who's my boy? Yes, you are, baby! I got you, my baby! What you want, little buddy? You wanna play some more? <laughs> good, good. come back here! Fudgy! Fudgy! Where are you going, you fucker? Fudgy and I went swimming every day together, and after a dip, he would sit at my feet, dry off in the sun, and fall asleep, probably dreaming about all the duckies he wanted to play with. After spending many hours splashing around in the Lake of Annecy, I spent a day exploring the town that shares its name, which is around a 30-minute drive from Taloir, and is the main city to visit. It has canals cutting throughout the city with many restaurants lining the waters and many visitors filling the streets who, after getting their fill of eating and shopping, walk over to the lake and enjoy the waters and the trees nearby. Whenever I travel, the new environment inspire me to ask a whole lot of questions like, what would my life look like if I lived here? What do people do here apart from just enjoy nature? And how can I get fudgy on a scooter? I can't find any backpacks big enough. Do I need to get a sidecar? What's the market for cushions with dog stitching? Do people buy these kinds of cushions? What kind of stuff do people buy, really? Who wants to buy a souvenir bottle opener? Like anyone, come on, a souvenir slingshot? That's ridiculous. Oh my God, shut up. Is this a doggy bowl I could use for fudge while letting people know that I love my golden? Fuck yes, I'll buy this. And I sure did buy it. And it came in handy for a hike the next day. Fudju, Fudju, look. Fudgy, look, water. We went up to Montmin and La Tournette, which is maybe half an hour drive from Talwar at the base of the hike. And on a clear day, it's just a beautiful drive to get up there on narrow, winding roads with surprising views at every turn. I haven't taken Fudgy on a good long hike like this for a while, like I used to when I was in Toronto when he'd run free through the woods and sprint up and down the hills. I, I miss that. I think Fudgy is at his happiest in nature. I think I might be too. The hike was just, just stunning, really. The air was prominently fresh and clean, which is the first thing I notice when I've been living in the city for a while. Mountain air is just delicious, and the colors around were so vibrant and saturated. The skies were a deep blue, the grass was a deep green, and the winds were gently blowing, and, and you could hear the gentle jingles of cowbell rustling like soft wind chimes, punctuated by Fudgy shouting at the cows.
So I didn't expect to find a Swiss chalet here in the mountains, but I'm very happy that I did. And you know what? I'm not going to get any of those fries with disgusting sauce that you get in Canadian Swiss chalets. Uh-uh. That's cultural appropriation. This is real. I'm getting cheese with some more cheese, more cheese, and some beer, and then some more cheese. And now, let me introduce you to the Tartiflet. It sounds like a cute name, doesn't it? Like, ooh, a little fluffy tart. Ooh, it's a Tartiflet. Wrong visual. This is a deep casserole of cheese, potato, cheese, bacon, and cheese topped in huge slices of even more cheese. Okay, I was joking when I mentioned all the cheese, but I didn't realize that they'd be putting so much cheese on top of this thing. This is gonna be probably my favorite potato gratin of my life. The hills are alive with the sound of music. How about one last bite for Fudgy before he finds some more mud to roll around in? You dirty, dirty dog. Oh, fuck. Fudgy, no. Fudgy, get out. Oh, fuck. Fudgy, no. Okay, enough shouting at my dirty dog. Can I share some of my favorite footage with you? I just love putting a GoPro on Fudgy and watching his ears flap as he runs around. Just look at him go. I love my dog, and I want Fudgy to have a good life. What would make him the happiest? Would Fudgy like to see new places as well? Does he look at the mountains the way I do and feel a sense of wonder, a sense of connection to the world? Maybe he also thinks, man, we're so f***ed, we're destroying all this and the world's gonna burn? Ah, uh, mm, mm, ah, that was, that was a typo. Sorry, I, mis I misread that. We're fine. The world is fine. What I meant to say was, maybe he also thinks, Wow, this is so beautiful. Look at the skies and the trees. I love going on adventures with a human. This is my first time going to the mountains. This is so cool. Ooh, look, I found a nice rock for him to meditate on. Ah, isn't this peaceful? And look, more of those weird looking big doggies. Let me go say something to them. Hey, fuck you. And your friends. Fuck them too. Fuck all of you. Yeah, good job. Good job, Fudgy. Fuck this dog. Okay, let's talk about the food. French food, famous for its wines and for having more varieties of cheese than days of the year. And I've had more than my fill of each. This is my third plate of cheese within the past four days. I think I've eaten more cheese in this four days than I have in the past four years. My interest in food on this trip was in enjoying fine French dining experiences where I could try flavor combinations I haven't experienced before deeply think about what I'm tasting and where I could ask the chefs and the servers what they've got going on with each dish to be wowed and confused by what's presented in front of me and then to be able to tell stories afterwards about some amazing dishes and restaurants. So here are a few I'd like to share with you. Tastes like burning. Moulin de Gastronome was the first of the food destinations I wanted to check out after watching the trip series where these two old British men drive to different hotels around Europe and eat great meals while making funny voices with each other. I wanted to experience eating amazing food and then stumbling over to my room drunk on wine and falling asleep a few doors away from the kitchen. Plus, it's dog friendly and I want to see what it would be like to experience great food with Fudgy by my side. Nice face.
Oh, I, I gotta be honest, I would just love, I'd love to do a video series of driving around Europe and having fine dining with experiences and dog-friendly hotels with Fudgy where he rates the food based on how many paws he gives me. Four paws, highly recommended, would eat again. Uh, I, don't, I don't think most restaurants would like that idea, but, but I just love it. So I didn't bring Fudgy with me to the next place, as it's not a place for doggies. So I left Fudgy at the hotel with a big bone. Though it breaks my heart whenever I leave him somewhere new and then this message pops up on my phone. But I don't think he's as upset about it as I am. Claude Ascent is the bucket list dining experience that I was looking for. So this is a three Michelin star restaurant with an extra green star because all of its ingredients are not only very locally sourced, but also grown in their own gardens. This was going to be the dining experience of a lifetime. So I got the tasting menu and had some just amazing dishes, like, like this mushroom dish here. Just look at this. Have you ever seen mushrooms look so pretty? These delicate ribbons are of raw mushrooms, raw mushrooms. I don't know about you, but I almost never eat my mushrooms raw. And this was just fucking fantastic. And there were many dishes like this over a, a five hour dining experience. Five hours. I've never been at a restaurant for this long. Oh yeah, this is a story I'm going to be telling for a while. My time around Lake Annecy was hard to budget amongst the many ways to enjoy the hills and water and I felt the pressure of choosing often and choosing well. Mas Cornille was my attempt to rest before the drive back home and I'm surprised that it wound up being so much more. Did that shot work? I, I hope so. I felt a little creative at the time and I kind of want to encourage that in myself. So I kept the shot in. This guest house is run by a couple from Switzerland who opened this home to visitors 20 years ago. Our first night there, we shared dinner together where I had a meal that was surprising in how good it was. They candied their bell peppers by roasting them over very low heat and olive oil in the oven for many hours. And I just didn't know that I could enjoy peppers this way. I love collecting stories about food from all the places that I visit and sharing them with others and then getting to hear about their favorite restaurant experiences as well, especially here on this part of my trip, on a warm summer night in southern France with wines made by the neighbors under a few bits of candlelight. <laughs> 
Marquant. Régis Marquant. Régis et, oh. Régis et, et son fils. Que, oui, et son fils. Ah, oh, c'est fantastique. Uh, oh, okay. come in, come in. Working fantastic. together. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's already in the middle of nowhere. Perfect. Yes, yes, it's yes, the yes, best yes, place yes. to be. You, 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 I don't know. Maybe this is my love of food and travel coming to blossom again, but maybe I'm just too ashamed to do this on my own as it has such a heavy context for me. And I feel safer using Fudgy as an excuse to film. But now that I've gone to France and had some amazing meals and saw some parts of the world that really filled me with awe, maybe I could see myself doing this more often. For Fudgy's sake, of course. You're never going to get them, Fudgy. Never going to get them. Fudgy, just give up. Fudgy. Just give up. Fudgy, come back. Fudgy, come back. Fudgy, come here. You fucking dog. Come here.